April 2015 saw Sestina embark on one of the most ambitious projects so far. Three concert performances of Monteverdi's Vespers of 1610. In collaboration with His Majesty's Sappers and Cornets, the Monteverdi String Band, and our two amazing tenor soloists, Matthew Long and Nicholas Mulroy, it became a week we would all remember. <laughs> Sestina's singers come from all backgrounds, from all over Ireland. We have some older singers aged around 25, 26, some younger singers aged 18 to 19, and two young male singers aged 16. And then to these three groups we add an extra layer, the professional singers. The thesis behind Sestina is learning through listening and learning through doing. The opportunity for these young singers to talk to, meet, greet, get advice from, even sing to these professional singers, I think is something unique to Sestina. His Majesty's Sappers and Cornets have played the Monteverdi Vespers a thousand times, I'm sure. With the player's enthusiasm and encyclopedic knowledge of the ornamentation and the style of this period, it was truly a treat to be conducting them. On the opposite side of the stage, we had the stunning string sound of the Monteverdi String Band, led by Oliver Webber. Oliver's knowledge of this repertoire also is unequal. You could hear every note being played. The clarity of the playing was absolutely stunning. On the Friday of this week is the time we have the first performance. It was our first visit to the stunning Catholic Cathedral of St. Patrick's in Armagh. If ever there was a building made for this music, this was it. And to see the players' faces and the singers walking into this incredibly Venetian, Italianate building made a real treat. The Saturday saw us travelling down to Dublin to the incredible building of Christchurch Cathedral. It was a little more intimate space than St. Patrick's in Armagh and the players really could feel as if they were communicating with each other across the performing space. On the Sunday, we returned to our spiritual home of the Ulster Museum in Belfast for an incredible day, a Bella Festa festival of Venetian music. It began with a rousing opening chorus of the Vespers of 1610, with Sestina singing from the balcony and all the players playing. This continued with a stunning recital by His Majesty Sackbutts and Cornets, We then moved upstairs to one of the galleries for a more intimate space for a brilliant performance of the Madrigal Transformed by the Monteverdi String Band. This programme, conceived by Oliver Webber, takes Monteverdi's madrigals and the contemporary ornaments that were performed at the time and played on violins. Me, myself, I learnt so much just listening to them, watching them play. And then we went downstairs for what I considered was the highlight of this Bella Festa day. For the whole week, alongside Sestina, Lucia Vernon Long and Donald McCriskin and a few other helpers have been working with a small group of eight to 11 year old children. The beginning point of the workshops was the music of the carnival. They would make masks, they would talk about the characters of Commedia dell'arte and they would rewrite some of the words of the madrigals written by Banchieri. To see these young children engaging in this music written hundreds of years ago and to really get the sense of the fun and the laughter in the music was fantastic and simply life enhancing. The cafe space was packed with proud parents and members of the public standing there waiting to see what these children would come up with. It really was a fantastic occasion. On the Sunday evening 
The culmination of the whole week of work came with our final performance of Monteverdi's Vespers of 1610 in the Ulster Museum. From early on in the evening, it was clear we were going to get a full house. Many seats had to be found from the back corridors of the museum. All the balconies were full. The atmosphere was electric and the players and the singers delivered a fantastic performance. After the performance, the feedback from both the players and the guest singers was overwhelming. Although amongst them they must have performed this piece a thousand times, they really felt as if they'd heard something new with the, with the way Sestina performed it. To see young singers aged 16, 18, so committing to this amazing music really raised their spirits and made them feel as if they were part of something truly special.